Driftnet fishing is an efficient and underutilized dual training method for fishing and hunter in old school RuneScape. If you've ever wondered about this strange method of gaining significant amounts of experience in two different skills at the same time, I encourage you to watch to the end of the video because I'm going to compare the experience rates gained here with other efficient methods. Driftnet fishing requirements. The bare minimum requirements to participate in driftnet fishing are 44 hunter and 47 fishing, as well as the completion of the bone voyage quest for access to Fossil Island. However, some of the pieces of gear required to make this efficient are quite difficult to obtain in comparison, especially for an Iron Man account. Recommended Gear and Items The ideal setup for Driftnet Fishing includes the following. First, you'll want a pair of flippers for running underwater. This requires the completion of the Skippy and the Mogers mini quest, as well as receiving it as a 1 in 64 drop from a Moger. You'll also want the diving apparatus and fishbowl helmet, because without them your time underwater will be limited. Getting these requires you to complete part of the Freeing Pirate Pete subquest of Recipe for Disaster. Next, you'll want something to corral the fish with. A trident of the seas, trident of the swamp, merfolk trident, or dragon harpoon will all work for this. On an unrestricted account, you could just buy one of these items on the Grand Exchange. If you're having trouble choosing, the Dragon Harpoon is best as it offers a plus 3 fishing boost special attack. Make sure you can equip the item you choose. On an Iron Man account, obtaining the Trident of the Seas or Dragon Harpoon can be quite the task, both requiring a rare drop from a mid to high level Slayer monster. However, the Merfolk Trident can be obtained by simply participating in the Underwater Agility and Thieving training method. Let me know if you guys want a video covering that. Finally, you want to round out the setup with any graceful pieces that will fit in and a dig site pendant if you don't have one mounted. In your inventory, you'll want to take some stamina potions, some numulite, and noted drift nets. You'll consume about 80 to 110 drift nets per hour, so you'll be spending a small amount of money on this training method. Here's my gear and inventory as an example. Getting to drift net fishing. Getting to the location is fairly simple. As with other Fossil Island training methods, teleport to Fossil Island via a dig site pendant. Then use the mycelium transportation system to Mushroom Meadow. Run northeast until you get to a rowboat. Click on it and select option 3, row out to sea. Then you'll be on a small island off the coast. There's a bank chest here in case you forgot anything. Then right click the rowboat to the west and select dive. Make sure when you dive that you have nothing in your hands as you can dive from this. Once you're down there, go north. You'll probably have to pay Sito to enter the Driftnet fishing area. Sito will ask for 200 Numulites to enter for one day, but you could also pay 20,000 Numulite to gain access permanently. Inside, a net will store your Driftnets for you up to 2,000 at one time. Then you can unnote them by speaking to her, equip your trident or harpoon, and begin fishing. Chasing and harvesting the fish. When Driftnet fishing, you'll want to have both of your nets up as often as possible. You'll be chasing fish jewels into the nets until each net has 10 fish in it before dismantling it. You should pause the video here and make sure you have these yellow tiles marked because when the fish are past these, they are much more likely to go directly into a net when chased. When a net is full, you want to click on it to take it down. Here, you'll have a few options. If you're bothered to collect the fish and other resources, you can click the bank option and pay a few Numulite to have the items sent to your bank. However, I highly recommend trashing these items, as they probably won't even make up for the nets you're using. Instead, I recommend saving as much time as possible by standing to the left side of the net and clicking the drift net anchors a second time as soon as the menu comes up. This will allow you to get right back to fishing very quickly. Has this video been helpful to you so far? If so, I want you to go ahead and click the like button below to let the YouTube algorithm know that I helped you. After all, it only takes like one game tick, and I already taught you how to save a few of those every time you harvest a drift net. Go on, click it. Thanks. Back to the video. Use stamina potions to make sure you never run out of energy. Harvest the drift nets as quickly as possible. Use your dragon harpoon special attack whenever it's available, and grab more nets from a net whenever necessary. Otherwise, just continue chasing fish, prioritizing the ones closer to the nets whenever possible. Hunter and fishing experience rates. According to the wiki, at level 70 hunter and 70 fishing, it's possible to achieve 110,000 hunter experience and 82,000 fishing experience per hour here. 
However, for the sake of comparisons, let's use experience rates I was personally able to get. I got 100,000 hunter and 76,000 fishing experience per hour when I was recording for this video. Let's compare that with the fastest methods in the game for both hunter and fishing. For hunter, that's black chinchampas, which the wiki claims can reach as high as 285,000 hunter experience per hour using a shooting alt and tick manipulation. For fishing, three tick barbarian fishing can grant you up to 110,000 fishing experience per hour. Let's say you did 3 tick barb fishing for 2 hours and tick manipulated black chinchampas for 1 hour and you were perfectly efficient doing both. That'd net you 285,000 hunter experience and 220,000 fishing experience for your 3 hours of skilling. Now let's suppose you did moderately efficient drift net fishing for those 3 hours instead reaching the same experience rates I was getting. Then you'd have gained 300,000 hunter experience and 220 28,000 fishing experience. I don't know about you, but I'd much rather poke some fish actively for a few hours than practice hard at some sweaty tick manipulation methods to get nearly the same result. However, it's apparently also possible to tick manipulate drift net fishing which can grant you even more experience. Note, this comparison does not consider the fact that hunting black chinchampas is profitable, so if you'd like to make GP while hunting, I don't suggest drift net fishing. Well guys, that pretty much concludes my guide on drift net fishing. If you're looking for a profitable way to train hunter instead, watch my herbivore guide next. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.